as you can see, we've thrown in some exponents to our fraction. Essentially, remember, you need to distribute the cube through the top quantity and the squared through the bottom quantity. Remember that the rules for dealing with coefficients are different than the rules with dealing with variables raised to an exponent. So when I distribute the cube and the square, I'm really saying I want to take 2 and cube it, x to the 4th and cube it, y to the 8th and cube it, z to the 5th and cube it, then 8 squared, x to the 2nd power squared, y to the 9 power squared, and z to the negative 3rd power squared. 2 cubed means what's 2 times 2 times 2. And 8 squared means what's 8 multiplied by 8. Remember, the rules are different with coefficients than they are from variables. When you take care of all of those exponents, you now have 8x to the 12th, y to the 24th, and z to the 15th, over 64x to the 4th, y to the 18th, and z to the negative 6th. You need to simplify your coefficients, and you need to subtract the exponents on the common based variables. Are you ready? 8 over 64, they both divide by 8, so that reduces to the fraction 1 over 8. 12 minus 4 is 8, and because it's positive, the x's remain in the numerator. 24 minus 18 is 6 also positive. The y's remain in the numerator. But we have a new situation. What's with that negative exponent? You're supposed to subtract 15 minus negative 6. 15 minus negative 6. Oh, when I subtract a negative, I really need to add. So it's going to be z to the 21st. And because it's positive, it will remain in the numerator. So our final answer should look like this. x to the 8th, y to the 6th, z to the 21st, all over 8. You don't need to put the 1 in front of the x, but if you feel more comfortable, it's perfectly okay to write 1x to the 8th, y to the 6th, z to the 21st, over 8.